This is my first time to the Shangri La Dialogue. But fortunately or unfortunately, we never run short of issues. Seems to me that the world is uh, less stable and it's quite uncertain. So we are supposed to discuss the theme of deterrence and reassurance at this session. There, there is a clear need for us to have a better understanding and try to achieve a balance between the two. But at the same time, I believe deterrence or assurance, they are basically the tools, the, the approaches. So they are more of a tactical nature and determined by a broader, bigger strategy. And what is really strategic and what is really important, I believe, is our perception of the world, our perception of ourselves and our relationship in this fast-changing world. That will determine our approach. That will make the difference. If we see each other as potential or real rivals, if we will see today's world still as an arena for great power rivalries, if we believe that we should be engaging in zero-sum rivalries among the major powers, then it makes all the difference. Then we might have to resort to deterrence more than necessary. And deterrence could very well escalate into real threat or even open conflicts. And under such circumstances, assurances could not be very convincing. Sometimes it could even be hypocritical even. So in order to achieve a proper balance between the two, and in order really to have the right approach towards the changing global security situation, we have to have a clear idea, have a good understanding of our perception of the world, of ourselves, and of our relationship. If our goal is to work together for a more stable, more peaceful, more prosperous world, if our goal is to build a community of nations for a better and shared future, if we see each other despite all the differences we might have, because there are always differences among us, but despite all the differences, we still see each other as potential partners, as people we can work with for the common goal, for the common interests, then I don't think we really need very much deterrence. If we could have such mutual confidence, then we are already giving each other sufficient reassurance. That would be very basic, very good foundation for us to work together to confront the global challenges, including things like AI and climate change and a number of others. So we have to have a clear idea what kind of a world, what kind of a security structure, architecture we want to build. This global architecture, if it works, has to be balanced, effective, and sustainable. And the security we seek has to be common, comprehensive, cooperative, and sustainable. Otherwise, there's no end to the conflicts. We are still talking about the conflict in Ukraine. Unfortunately, we still don't see any end to it. We in China, we are working very hard, and we always stand for a peaceful solution. We want people to come back to the negotiating table to find a peaceful solution to the conflict. And what is happening in the Middle East? Civilians, innocent people are dying every day. The international community seems to be paralyzed, although there is very strong public opinion in all countries. But what is happening is still happening. So we have to look at these ongoing conflicts and look at the real serious global security challenges and aim at building a new kind of security architecture that is really balanced and effective, that it will work for the interests of all the countries, that it will take care of the sovereignty and territorial integrity of all the countries, take care of the legitimate security concerns of all countries. 
Otherwise, we'll have an endless list of issues for the Shangri-La dialogue. I, I'm in full support of the dialogue, of course. <laughs> but I, I hope we could have some more positive and constructive issues on the list. Thank you, Madam.